So we got our MPC Live 3 up here, and we want to transfer this file here to Ableton Live 12. Let's play this back from the top first. Okay, that's it right there. So now what we want to do is take all these tracks and get them out of here. So all these pads have sounds on them. And so what I want to do is get them all to be not just pads, but become tracks. So we can take them and send them out through USB. So the first thing I want to do here is sort of like change the whole program. We're gonna go here, we're gonna do explode tracks. Right there. And now it's exploding all the tracks out. It's gonna make all 16 pads into separate tracks. We gotta check it to see how that works. Okay. Get a little zebra going on there, and now it's all done. That's pretty cool. So we got to see how many tracks we got here. We're going to tell that by here. We see we're in the pads. And I'm going to come to here. And that says Confession Kick. So I know the first track is there. We had before. And then this kick is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. And you can tell because all the pads are lighting up at the same time, too. So I'm gonna hit one of these pads right here. As you can see, actually right here, you don't see any kind of sample at all. So I click there. Now you see the sample come right back there. Now next, we'd like to send this stuff directly to their separate tracks because by exploding, each pad has a separate track now. So this is pretty simple. We'll come here to where it says mixer right here. I'll hit mixer. And now we'll see them right here. They're right here. I'm gonna scroll back to the beginning of it. And so this very first track here was the track for the original sequences, pads. Each pad now is a separate track. So the separate tracks are right here. And as I play it back, you'll see that. Snare, kick drum. We'll stop that out, it's good. So what I want to do next, I'd like to come to here and go to I.O. Now in I.O. I want to assign each one of these tracks to a separate output. Now inside of Ableton, I can do mono. I'm going to do mono or stereo. I'm going to do mono though. Now next, I want to send these outputs for each one of these tracks to Ableton Live 12. But I want to use the USB output. We'll come right to here with this output. I had to go to I.O. first. You see I.O. selected right here. Originally I was here in volume. Go to I.O. Select my I.O. right there. And now I'm going to look for a USB output. Now I want to use USB output 1. I want to send this in mono. You can see we can do stereo. I want to do mono though. There's two. It's going to be three right here. And we got four, and you're getting the idea. You can see we're gonna go in order. As you can see, now I have Ableton 12 open. Now the first thing we wanna do here is go to settings. So I can press command and comma, or I can come right up here to the menu, I should see it right here, and go to settings. Once I get here, I wanna make sure my audio's checked out. I wanna to go to here and make sure I have the MPC Live 3, and it has 24 in and 24 out. That's for my audio input source or the device. Here I have audio output device. That's my Telstream here and my out or input and output configuration. Here's the input. This is all checked off right here. You can name it if you want to right there. Here's the output is the input. Press OK here. I also have to check out my output configuration. This is just my MacBook Pro. I'll click right there. Next, I want to check out the Link, Tempo, and MIDI. We go right here, you'll see 
that we have a configuration going on here where we have this is MPC force, meaning the MPC or the force. Um, APC 40, if I had that up. But right now, you can see here, I have MPC Live 3, and this first one is port 1. You'll see that right there. And the next one here is port 2. And next we have here a kind network. Door control. Excellent. Now, next what I want to do is come down to here, we have input ports. You'll see here I have these four selected for track. And for sync and for remote, I'm using port one. That's selected here. And the same thing here for the output ports. And it's track and it's sync and remote. And this will make everything work. So now I'm just loading in tracks right here. And I'm making sure my tracks get loaded in properly. So I've got one, two, three, four, five here. And I just come to here, I'll just press Command T. I'll get a track here and I'll change this to be six. And you get the idea, all these are the inputs from my MPC USB-C cable. I'm going to pull in 16 tracks. So I need to add some more tracks here. So I can create tracks right here. Add some more in. That's three. And it's four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Great. Just press the command, command T, and those tracks are right there. Well, I don't need to see this anymore. I'm going to move this to the end. Okay, I can see all 16 tracks now. If I move over here, I can see, well, not all, but I can see at least 15 at a time. There you go. There you go. And you see them down there. So the next one I want to do is make sure these tracks are going to work, happens, you know, pretty quickly. So what I want to do here, I'm going to come to right here, and I want to select these tracks. And it's just a top one here. There's a top one is right there. I'll select this one. And I come here to the bottom. I'm going to press Shift and click. And now they're all selected. Now that they're all selected, I want to select auto right here. Right there. And make sure they're all set to record. Perfect. And we'll scroll back up. We'll see that. Now what I want to do is just hear this stuff back. I want to check these levels out though first. Make sure I'm not going to be too loud. So I'm going to come into my master output, which is right here, and bring this down. And now I'll press play on my MPC. Stop that, totally ready, it's good to go. Now, all I need to do now is go back over to here and I'm going to press record. Okay, the problem is now, I did the wrong thing. Let's press undo this. It's so important. We don't have link anymore. Before we had link here. So many times ago, we go hit a link. We can't do link anymore. What we can do though, is we have to go to here and make sure I have the exact same tempo as the track is. So this track is 125. Perfect, I'll put that in there. And now, I should be able to do it. We're gonna press record. Okay, recording. Everything's recording right down. This is great. Stop that right there. Got my track all done. This is pretty simple stuff to do. It's so easy to do this. And it makes it much more easier than it used to be. So check this out if you do have able to master this whole idea. So you can dump your files in here and use it in a real big door compared to using it into the MPC door. And using it in here is like really great. Use all your plugins here as well. And any questions, hit me up at samplekings.com. And if you need lessons, you know who to call. I'll see you in a few.